Hey Warriors fans, I'm Scott Warris, and today we're joined by the Northern Athletics Collegian Conference Men's Golfer of the Week, sophomore Riley Tanzi. Riley, congratulations. Thank you. On that, you certainly earned it. Your best 36 hole score last weekend down in Janesville at the Culver's Edgewood Fall Classic. Let's start right there. Why was last weekend as good as it was for you individually? Um, yeah, so I was just hitting the ball very well and was able to maintain focus. As Coach Volbrecht said, he really liked uh, the focus from me, which isn't always easy. But no, yeah, I just felt my felt like my game was there and really just put it together. So, look, as most folks watching remember, it was hot. It was humid. I imagine yeah. when you teed off, it was low 90s probably. How mm -hmm. did you battle the elements in, in a sport like that especially? <laughs> yeah, a lot of water. <laughs> but yeah, so um, a lot of glove changes, got to stay hydrated and just staying in it mentally. Mm -hmm. Obviously, like the toughest thing there is on the course, but to be able to battle the heat and then just you're playing, it, it wasn't easy, but we got it done. <laughs> yeah, you did. Yeah. A top 20 finish to get you the Golfer of the Week award. Um, look, you're not going to surprise anybody in this conference. For folks who don't know, Riley was the NAC Men's Golf Freshman of the Year last year. So where have you set out to improve from your rookie year to year number two? Right. Um, yeah, obviously a huge accomplishment last year and just wanted to keep going and wasn't settled with that. So obviously wanting to get in the top five, mm -hmm. top three, move just forward and then shoot lower scores, break 70, just get lower. And yeah, the competition's only getting better, so I have to as well. <laughs> what about your game specifically? Mm -hmm. did, did you kind of maybe hone in on during the off season and said, I need to be better here? Right, um, mostly just consistency with driver getting in getting in play setting up chances for birdies and also a lot um i struggled putting i have a very unorthodox way of putting it doesn't work for many but it works for me so this year this off season i spent a lot of time on the putting green and uh, and to the driving range working ball flights and then start lines with putts so okay well now see the obvious follow-up and we don't have enough space here for a full tutorial. Maybe we can do that another time. Right. <laughs> Describe what makes your putting style so unorthodox, yeah, Riley. So, I mean, obviously you want to be dead square to the whole, everything in your body wants to be square. Mine, I just did it whatever was comfortable. So hmm. I put my left foot, like I put it too far behind and leave it wide open. So I struggled missing putts to the right. So I figured if I aim more left, you know, Hopefully it would drop, but yeah, I did that for the last year. Worked until it didn't, so we had to make changes and adapt. You know, you talk about making changes and adapting, and in the sport like golf, I mean, that's constantly something right. that goes on, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you never, your game never, I mean, you can play the best you did one day, go out the next day, and you just lost it. Mm -hmm. So being able to find something that works for you that day is the most important thing for me and every other player. So having um, just thoughts, swing feels I can rely on, just know that I'm a better player than what it might feel like one day, to be able to go to that and just rely on it helps immensely. So are you mentally tougher now than you were, let's say if we were talking a year ago at this time and you were just setting off on your collegiate yeah. career? Um, not, maybe not as many nerves, uh, still obviously hands shake a good amount on the first tee, but yeah, I, uh, I'm very all over the place on the golf course cause I don't really like to focus much. Um, I'd much rather just talk to my group and just think about anything but golf, but no, this year, um, coach Volbrecht mentioned that he loved the focus out of me being able to lock in for the 10 seconds over the ball but being able to go back and just have conversations and be not mentally present mm -hmm. the whole time helps. But yeah, definitely a lot of focus this year. And just, I feel like I've really learned from last year that you need to stay focused and able to play well. You sound like a fun guy to golf with if you're the one talking <laughs> rather than yeah. the people who are constantly silent right. and in the zone yeah. and stuff like that. Okay, Riley, Yeah. Um, before we let you go, we're gonna have a little fun here. We're gonna play five questions. I have three cards. 
The category of the questions will be determined by the card you draw. Okay. So we'll point, take this one. This one. Oh, okay. This is very apropos. The category is sports. How oh, appropriate is this? Are you ready? Of course. Five questions. The one professional team you'd like to own if you had all the money in the world? UNC basketball. They're my team. <laughs> Michael Jordan or LeBron James? Oh, Michael Jordan. I was going to say the UNC thing Come probably on, gave yep. it away. The one rule change in your sport, golf, that you would make if you had the power to do it? I think every golfer would speak to this too, not being able to take your lie out of a divot hmm. in the fairway. If offered a behind-the-scenes pass to any sporting event, which one do you pick? <sighs> Got to go with... I. Got to go with the NBA Finals. Hmm. Oh, actually, I'm sorry. Augusta, the Masters. Yep. Which leads me to the last question, <laughs> and maybe we know the answer. A round at St. Andrews, the old course, or Augusta National? Yep, you guessed it. <laughs> Augusta. Got okay, you. and now the wild card question to get you out of here. You get to put together your dream golf foursome. Mm. It's you and what three people, anytime, all time, ever. I got to go with myself, my dad, Tiger Woods, and John Daly. That is a good foursome. Riley Tanzi, last year's conference men's freshman golfer of the year and the first honoree golfer of the week in the NAC. Congratulations. Thank you. All the best the rest of the way. And thanks for watching WLCSports.com.